like today? Music was a very popular form of entertainment, from operas and concerts to songs sung at home. Because of its size, the Central Passage was a space to entertain guests. Frequently, dances would be held in a home or at a local tavern so people could dance and socialize, but also discuss politics and business. We know from his writings, as well as those of his friends and family, that George Washington loved to dance. In fact, he was a great dancer. And when George Washington walked into a ballroom, he was greeted like a celebrity. The minuet was, traditionally, the first dance performed at a ball. It was danced by the highest ranking couple in attendance. The number of minuets is limited, specifically, by legislation here in Virginia. There was a time at which there were too many people wanting to step a minuet. So the Virginia legislature in the 1770s deemed it appropriate to have only three to open any ball. Now I want to tell you something. A ball was not simply about the dance, although it was a very, very significant portion of it. It was a way that people socialized. It was a way, indeed, that people would convey their requests for favors done. And I will tell you that, in some cases, business deals were actually concluded at balls as well. But by and large, it was about the dance and about socializing. After the minuet was performed, a variety of country dances allowed everyone to dance and take part in the festivities. The ballroom here at Gadsby's Tavern was constructed specifically for dancing and also for music. The fact that it is a large room that has a hanging musicians gallery allowed at least 90 people to take part in the dancing displays. Everyone learned how to dance, especially here in Virginia. If you were a Virginian gentleman, and it were expected to be a Virginia gentleman, then you had to know how to dance. Dancing was taught to all ages. As soon as they could walk, they were taught how to dance. But by the time a young lady was in her teens, or a young gentleman in his teens, they were expected to know how to at least execute the figures, so that when they were invited to social affairs, they would know how to, to participate in the dancing. George Washington, the great general and first president. The British tradition of celebrating the monarch's birthday was adapted in America to celebrate Washington's birthday with a birth night ball. George Washington was loved by everyone and they really wanted to celebrate George Washington by honoring him at his birthday. So the first public celebration of his birthday or birth night is what they called it, a birth night celebration, was actually held at Valley Forge in 1778. When they constructed Gadsby's Tavern with its large ballroom, this was the perfect place to hold that kind of celebration here in Alexandria. And John Gadsby, who was the tavern keeper at that time, invited George Washington to attend his birth night celebration in 1798. He attended, he also attended in 1799. Dance is very important to Washington, so he must have had some sort of an ear for music that he could at least keep up <laughs> with a beat, um, which I think is really important, that he must have had some ear for it. Uh, because uh, time and again, uh, people comment on his dancing ability and how much he enjoys dancing and that he can dance for hours at a time. Though we don't know how George Washington learned to dance, some people think his fencing master may have taught him, we do know that he obtained the highest compliment. French officers noted that his dancing could not have been improved by a Parisian education.